Okay. Okay. Uh, so today I'm going to show how we can make a uh, how to make a smoothie uh, with lots of veggies and fruit and orange juice, and so you can introduce a lot of good veggies uh, uh, for your kids. Uh, and the actual the real veggies will be uh, kale, uh, cabbage, uh, and beets. Um, so uh, it's very simple. Just uh, we need just to have everything ready. Uh, pretty much uh, anything that you can find, especially uh, we recommend that you buy uh, organic, organic uh, fruits and vegetables. Uh, and we're gonna the, we're gonna mix it with orange juice, some of the orange juice. So we're gonna start with um, adding. Uh, this is about a three quarters of a cup of uh, blueberries. About three quarters of a cup of cherries, frozen uh, organic cherries, organic blueberries. Uh, a medium raw uh, beet, organic. Uh, maybe a quarter of a cup of leftovers uh, grapes that I have in the refrigerator, so I'm just using them. Uh, you can use any any extra fruit that you might have. Two large homegrown carrots from my garden cut it into pieces, uh, about a half of a cup of uh, organic uh, red cabbage, there, uh, one green apple, kind of small, not too big, one organic banana, about, I guess it's a cup of uh, um, mango, frozen mango, and we're gonna add at the end. There's two options that I, I'll, I'll usually do. Uh, I typically have uh, kale uh, that I blend on the Vitamix and pour it in three ounces little cups, and I freeze it and I put them in uh, frozen in, uh, to freeze in the uh, refrigerator. And when I need it, if I don't have a fresh kale, I'll use the frozen cups. They're about three ounces, and for this amount of uh, uh, the quantity on the Vitamix, it's about two liters. Uh, I use two or three three ounces uh, little cups, but today we're gonna use uh, the fresh uh, kale. Uh, and another option for the uh, uh, beet is to use. If you want to mask. If you want the, the the smoothie not to look like green, so your kids are not gonna complain about the color, you can add. Uh, I use probably like about a, tis a tablespoon of hibiscus flour. I'll grind it in, a, uh, if you, uh, this is uh, something that I would recommend. If you want to, you can find it in the uh, health store on the, uh, on the herbal kind of section, but it's kind of expensive in there. Uh, I'll usually go to the Mexican stores and they, they uh, it's, it's the, the Jamaica, they, they call it Jamaica, but it's the hibiscus flour. And you can buy a whole pound of the flour and I, I'll just grind it like a, like, like flour in my Vitamix. And uh, so I'll just put about a a tablespoon on it and that gives a lot of color to my smoothie and also you can buy uh, uh, beet powder I think it's beet powder juice or just beet powder and that gives a lot of the red nice uh, color in the smoothie and your kids uh, like it that way it's just a psychological part of that so we're gonna add the kale into the cup and then add the orange juice, about about uh, three quarters of the cup, if we need more, we're gonna, and then we're just going to start, then you're just going to start the, the, the blender, uh, and we go kind of slow, just use your, um, use the speed regulator, um, and start slow. You're gonna see the fruit kind of coming going down.
so I put it about, I don't know, 30 seconds in a, a, the medium, all the way high to the medium speed, and then I turn it on the actual, the real high speed, maybe another 30 seconds. I didn't count the time, uh, but sometimes you can see through the cup that it's nice and uh, like a puree type. Uh, so now I usually store it in two empty bottles of the orange juice that I had from before and just split half and half. As you can see, it's very nice, uh, the color, very deep, uh, like burgundy color. It's like, like beets. And I, because it's very, it's kind of thick, I'll get a, maybe, a small glass of water to kind of rinse what is all around the walls and the cups. I can utilize everything. You don't want to leave anything from the fruits in there. And this can be you can store it in your refrigerator. And if it's too thick, if you have, we as our, our family likes the juice not really thick, uh, you can drink it like that or add. I typically like to have it a little bit more runny. So I'll add either a little bit more water or a little bit more juice and mix it and just enjoy it and it, it should be uh, not as uh, the veggies should not be tasted like a, as the major uh, ingredient in the smoothie this is super delicious uh, another well as I was saying uh, it tastes very fruity and really doesn't taste like vegetables at all you don't taste the vegetables so it's a really good uh, drink for your kids Another thing that you can add into the drink is uh, we, our family, use the collagen, which is, uh, is like a, a, a bone broth, uh, like a beef bone broth, and we use uh, probably a couple of uh, scoops into the drink, and that adds protein to the drink, and it is uh, tasteless. It just doesn't taste anything. Uh, and your kids, I mean, I'm, I'm just talking about from the perspective of a child, so he can drink it. He wouldn't know, absolutely would not know that this thing is there. The only reason that he will know that is if he sees you putting something in there. So I'll say uh, uh, avoid your child seeing uh, putting something like this because they cannot say, ah, I don't want to drink it because I saw you put blah, 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 and then uh, they might not want it. So uh, this is a very good alternative to add protein into the smoothie, and it's a totally uh, whole food. Uh, and you can drink it throughout the day. In the morning, we usually uh, take it with our, with our vitamins and our breakfast, during breakfast. So, uh, uh, another ingredient that we also add uh, that is tasteless in the, in the drink is either add some MCT oils, it's, the, uh, it's, the, it's like the coconut oil, the, um, uh, the MCT oil, uh, it's really good, I mean, it's super healthy for your child uh, for, to have really good fats. Short chain fatty acids, yes. Uh, so it's very healthy for your child too. Uh, we usually add... Uh, uh, a, a, a teaspoon of uh, this either straight to the drink and just mix it with a spoon or you can add it into the, uh, the Vitamix uh, probably for this much uh, you can add it at the most probably a, a quarter of a cup or a little bit less and uh, uh, just blend it with that and just make sure when you're pouring into the, the cup uh, shake it very well the, the juice uh, so it doesn't stays all the way to the top because it has as an oil has a tendency to go up and maybe your child will notice it but all of those flavors do not taste anything like oil and not nothing like um, vegetables or like the collagen or the beef uh, uh, beef bone broth it will not taste anything like that so it's really good for uh, children store it in your refrigerator it can last there without losing the flavor probably a week uh, five to seven days uh, just perfectly fine uh, so, there you have it.